good evening and welcome last time i talked about how my initial ideas as a new cio failed my 2 year 25 million dollars or the propel program basically the problem was i was attempting too big a change now if i looked at the case studies that i gave you the ones that failed used the wrong use case whereas the ones that succeeded used the correct use case so when i analyzed them i realized that all of them so far have been oblivious to the need for customers mindset change there's a lot of talk about mindset in the digital transformation industry but there's hardly any talk about how do i change the customers mindset which is what is the key here my uh, colleague former colleague venkat ramani answered the question correctly a lot of you gave answers but mostly you just explained why these innovators chose the wrong use case he was the only one to talk about the customers mindset change this is also the reason why i think 70% of digital transformation initiatives fail because they don't account for how to change the customers mindset now traditionally we have used the butterfly as the metaphor for transformation i have done that too but i think there is something more interesting also from mother nature that could be better suited because i don't think what the butterfly does we can actually do and this is called the strangler fig pattern apparently it was originally identified by martin fowler uh, the founder of thoughtworks on one of his trips to australia he observed that the strangler fig would be used as a legacy modernization modernizing legacy software and uh, my friend uh, deepak sharma an architect friend he mentioned this one of his podcasts and i was intrigued by it and i think there's a brilliant pattern that mother nature has done let's dig deeper into that if you look at a tropical rainforest canopy it looks something like that so dense that a tree that is trying to sprout from the bottom will not get any sunlight at all so how does a new tree grow in such an environment and i think what mother nature has done in terms of the strangler fig is brilliant a seed which is part of a bird's dropping lands on a particular tree in this rainforest and then it sprouts there and makes a small plant and using the sunlight it grows a little bit next what it does is it puts out these prop roots like you have seen in a banyan tree and once this touches the ground it starts sucking nutrients from the ground which also starves the host tree and this tree strangler fig starts growing over a period of time it has surrounded the host tree with some kind of looks like a exoskeleton and since the host tree is starved of its nutrients it eventually rots away leaving a perfectly round hollow within the strangler fig so the strangler fig has completely removed the old legacy tree you can say i believe that the strangler fig pattern applies broadly to any kind of transformation digital transformation not just for legacy modernization you will all notice wherever you go you have crowded legacy systems there are too many of them processes customer behaviors are many in fact when i became the cio i found there are 5000 urls in cognizant so if i were to undertake this massive transformation where do i start right that is the question in front of all of us and at the same time i need to change the customers mindset which in my case turned out to be the associates of cognizant so we zeroed in on the time sheet which is one of the 5000 urls and this is something we chose because every 15 days you had to fill your time sheet and we made that 500% better you can think of this as the first small thing that sprouts after the bird has dropped the seed on top of the tree now interestingly enough we distributed it to about 3000 people manually our friends uh and um, friends of the it department you can say but then it got stuck at that level it would not spread further now we had a self imposed extreme objective of there should be no change management that is we will not send emails out we will not do road shows about one cognizant it has to spread itself viral that was the goal that we had so we couldn't take the traditional methods so when we dug deeper into what was happening we found that a vast majority of the associates were waiting for this cfo's time sheet reminder email the cfo was my boss as i said previously he his office sends out quite a threatening email actually which says if you don't fill the time sheet on time it's a compliance issue and your salary could ding and so on when we dug deeper as to why people would wait for such a mail something very interesting popped up 
it turns out that that email had a link to the create time sheet screen of the ERP directly. So instead of going to the ERP, figuring out where the time sheet is, people were waiting for this link. It would still do the slow burn time sheet only, but at least they didn't have to look for the URL. That's why they were using it. Now, at this point, I'm sure you will know what we did. We just replaced that link with the one click time sheet link. And since that was 500% better, it, it delighted people and it spread itself virally in 100 days. 100,000 users started using it. Now, through that, we successfully inserted ourselves into the employee routines. Now, in the MVP stage itself, we had converted about 25 most used apps into one cognizant small apps. And we also done this email approvals for the management team so they could just reply approved from that BlackBerry and it would get posted. This was the BlackBerry days then. And they were very happy to adopt it. So that's how we did this. You can say the second stage of the Strangler fig where we have put out the roots and we started creating this new set of employee routines. Now, we knew that we were on the right track. We created this over 700 apps in the next three years, creating a $1 billion plus business impact and 98% associate reach without any change management. So the one cognizant you can think of as the exoskeleton that was formed on top of the existing legacy systems. I had spent only four years, so I am not sure if we had spent another three, four years, maybe we could have removed the underlying things and replaced them because people were so used to the one cognizant fronted, but we didn't go that far then. But I think this proves the point that the strangler fig pattern is a much better way to change the customer's mindset. And I think uh, this could be broadly applicable. So I want to leave you with this challenge that can we apply it into the personal transformation arena and see how can you apply it and let me know in the comment section.